All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We send to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? Rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought... Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. Shahira! You have an evil Machiavellian twin sister? Minsk does not like this.
Excellent. No! No! someone inside out. Only the worms have use for you.
not. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The mind flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Folds beneath yours, a still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jaira. You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. <coughs> Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why?
a level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast, and he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? Wits and blades always sharp. My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, <laughs> such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Minz to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil. 
together. Get comfortable, Boo. We go to battle and... <laughs> to glory or glorious death. Every kicked buttock, another step on the path.
met my hamster. Work to be done. What a day. your elders and learn. Assume nothing. All right. What now? This city reeks of evil. Or perhaps Boo just needs to bathe. Things have stayed interesting. This ought to be good. What's next, I wonder? Steel sharp, hamster hungry. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. Justice walks on four feet and sleeps in my boot. Wherever we go, ye gods, let there be something green. No time to dally. No one back home will ever believe this.
evil, I mind. What's next? A wood carving of a pair of wings, like an eagle's, but to be my longer witch, somehow. She went in search of moons. A worn but still capable warhammer, sized for a halfling. Humble turnip, preserved by drying. A fine friend. I can forgive him his love of turnips. A mailed fist camp. in the fire cam armor style. Much of honor and faith, but he fought like a berserker in the All over Ashima. They raise statues to Dinah here. But this is Minsk's true monument to her. Her Wiklaren mask. Feel it, Boo? The path of virtue beneath my boots once more! Boo and I, we are in your debt, my friend. Don't touch me.
Let's. like visitors. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Do what must be done. Oh. Indolence breeds madness. Trust no one. My faith protects me. My faith will guide me. Keep your distance, darling.
that might be worth a look. Whatever it takes. Hmm, let's see. I do not know, Boo. If you buried the nuts here before we were stoned, I am thinking they might have gone mad. Enough! The hamster is saying it's damn thing, and you know it. I know. Well, Starion, who is of good breed, and so only speaks when he has something nice to say. Perhaps this is why he has never seen fit to speak to you. <laughs> How delightfully vicious. I'm beginning to like the hamster. I when she fell down the stairs and split her chin. I felt horrible about that one. Could barely sleep for a ten day. to show off the scar to her friends at school. Still breathing, despite everything. Protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me.
Nature's servant awaits. What to do? says what can't afford to stay idle City's got a dangerous air to it these days. Only makes sense to take self-preservation measures. The ball can move on like that.
broke the pace myself. <laughs> You? What in, sh in shadows have you come back for? You have been the subject of many wrinkled brows between my hamster and I, Sir Banker Beard. On the one hand, you are clearly evil and deserving of a mouthful of righteous knuckle. But on the other hand, the one in which Boo sits and pleads your case. At the time of our last meeting, Minsk was the evil one. So, we are not agreed on whether we will return here and feed you to a mimic yet. I see. Well, by all means, keep me up to date. Serious. Well, maybe you don't have a head for accounting, but that's not quite how numbers work. These large numbers, they wrinkle Minsk's brow and bring a soreness to his skull. Make them smaller, please. Banker was beaten to death by a mob on the rumor she'd taken a cut from the robbers. You wouldn't stoop to spreading rumors now, would you? But that's why I pay my guards so well. To keep me, well, looked after. And not even a whisker light. Gods, you're a boring bastard. Me too, I suppose. Because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. Best drama working in the bloody festival. Yeah. 
standing, no matter what you heard. He wants to teach them refugees a lesson, right? Not the absolute time. Not a child. What's the harm in one night? Why if we get caught? Morning gave a boy's ring. They were angry. I don't care how big they are. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Back again? Want a dagger? Or a bow? Need more arrows? Um, need a spear? Yay! Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times.
Eager for battle. Yes? Enough waiting. I crave blood. Let's get going. Whatever it takes. There's no time to waste. Justice walks on four feet and sleeps in my boot. Want more? Want less? Want to sell? Want to buy? You know where I am. Bye! I know, sweetie. People will help. This whole situation stinks. Guild robbers are usually decent enough. Justice, truth, and the virtuous boot. at my side and hamster at hand. Watch your back. Zahira, Ebu is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bogrit cheek with hand. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened.
I have already pledged my sword and hamster both. What more does Minsk have to give? Your word, Ranger. That next time you will stop and think. I will not always be here to tell you what to do. If not here, then where? Ah, wherever there is, Minsk and Bu will go to. My hamster, he will not be parted from you again, Jahira. I missed him, too. And try as you might. I know you have not missed my point as neatly as you pretend. My boots craves the crunch of unvirtuous feathers. Call and I answer. Someone there. With one eye open, evil. Maybe both. I'm ready. Well, hello. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Fine lodgings you have found, my friend. Who is already in negotiations with the guardian spirits of this place? In Baldur's Gate, they are likely to be rat-formed and eager to charge rent. But Boo shall secure safe slumber for all! Now, what do you need of Minsk? So dark an alliance sealed with centish contracts, cultish vows, and a dragon's shining horde. Do you think Minsk could forget? You are correct. I have no idea what any of that was about, but we shall simply... Gah! Boo! Why do you nod my soft parts? I am trying to... Once again, in smaller words? I see. This truth you seek. Boo believes that Minsk is knowing more than Minsk knows. But it is a difficult thing. There are memories of this time that Minsk does not remember. And Boo suggests that just as he helps with tricksome itches in awkward places. You must reach what Minsk cannot. The Parasite. You can use it to tickle free whatever truth you seek. The worm has already whipped me around the city like a slack-backed pony. I have no wish to saddle myself a second time. But... If it cannot be Boo who pops inside my skull for a rummage, then I trust you. 
or Jahira, but she is currently possessed of an empty head. I... I much prefer your methods, my friend, but Bu is resolute. The worm it must be. I do not often go against the advisings of my hamster, but as you wish. Perhaps you might speak to the corpses you left behind. I'm sure Boo can scare his soul back into it long enough to answer some questions. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. Ah, you come in search of stories. It is not yet time to tuck Boo in for the night, but very well. After our adventurings with the Ballspawn, Boo had had his fill of godly flesh. So, we returned to Baldur's Gate for a time. After all, in every city there is a sweaty underbelly, crying out for a virtuous scrubbing. None better to wield a brush than Minsk and Boo. <laughs> Perhaps we rubbed some Bilin's rump a little too raw. This Minsk does not know. One moment we stood in the city slums, the next, ambush! Then Minsk and Boo woke on the wide with stone dust in sensitive places. Aha! Perhaps this is the reason, Boo. It is not because of the legendary thickness of my skull. The mind of Minsk was occupied with important matters. I was browsing a slum vendor stall, looking for Boo's favorite nuts. And then, I was stolen. For Minsk, those years passed as quick as a hiccup. It was long ago, then hic it is now. <sighs> Minsk has lost many things. His witch, his mind, his home, his friends, his mind. But many good things remain. Boo is here. My steel is here. Jahira's face has more lines, but her tongue and wits are as sharp as ever. The city still clings to the hill. The sea still stretches on forever. And this stench of evil still makes Boo wish for a tiny peg on his nose. As long as that stench remains, no matter how old or young the world is, Minsk and Boo will not rest. We have. Is it not wonderful? There is no need for sweet words between companions such as we. Too often those are the weapons of flatterers and frauds. But she who will beat you about the head with the cold and pointy truth? That is a true Wiklaren. You do not know this custom. Great Rashomon is ruled by the Must Ones. Wise women you might call witches. To each Wiklaren is bonded a berserker bodyguard to dog her heels and watch her back until death claims one or both. So it was with Minsk and his witch, Dinah here, until she died and Minsk had to carry on without her. But Jahira was there to help Minsk take vengeance. 
and to kick his backside when he fell to brooding, as any true Wiglaren would. I know you mean well, my friend, but Boo, being your friend, wishes to share some of this cold and pointy truth I mention. Mind your own God's damned business. My hamster's words, not mine. Fresh Kalir, giant space hamsters are a staple food. Their hocks are quite scrumptious, if a bit fatty. of a miniature version, let alone a conversant one, which means Boo is either a rare specimen or an ordinary hamster. Either way, I'm not about to go nibbling on him. I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. The absolute threatens thousands. The entire coast. And still you risk much to help one man. I should berate you. But... I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own. But whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us, to the very end.
He's an ass. I can make no promises beyond that. But even so, lead the way. We're yours to command. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Keeping very well, I hope? Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies. For life. I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Salune as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Salune came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now. Said Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. a worthy addition to our group. His pet, Minsk, may prove useful also.
So, we can add one bald wall of muscle to our little group. I'm sure he'll come in handy. Maybe as a doorstop. Us. I still love the sound of that. How could I say no? Mm. <laughs> I do rather like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 